up and down and in and out, and he's adjusted with players in different positions all over the place this year. He's had a terrific job. Bluquist centers right onto the stick of Maroon. The puck not frozen by Nedeljkovic, and finally he's able to smother it. Carlson, 1,000th career game with three different teams, Ottawa, San Jose, and now the Penguins in his first year. Free puck came right to Brian Rust. It's still free and centered by Crosby, but they couldn't carry it in. From St. Ivan, he got knocked off the puck. Mike Sullivan has the two rookies out there killing this penalty. Here's Posternock back for McAvoy. High slot, rebound, and that one might have hit the goal post. Coach Stanton Heinen at Denver. Jim won a national championship behind the Pioneer bench in 2017. Posternock hit the post again! And the Karen came off the back of Nadelkovic, and then Riley Smith fanned on it as he came moving down the slot. Boston three on two, but not a lot of gas in the tag after the effort in their own zone. Here's Peek, the trailer, out in front, hoping for a they score! Jammed in by Jake DeBrusque at the net front. And Boston has a 1-0 lead. Offensively, DeBrusque's got his 19th of the year. Andrew Peek throws this to the front of the net. As you see, Pedersen and Riley Smith vacate the front of the net. DeBrusque is going to get in front of Raquel and punch this through the legs of Nadelkovic. As the Bruins get the first goal again. That's... That's good news. Be a factor in the race to win the Stanley Cup in the postseason. They'll need a lot more out of him. Yeah, that's good news for them, though, isn't it? Another forward that can punch some goals in. Now Grizzlick rebound score. Pavel Zaka, and just like that, it's two to nothing. Crest of Nedeljkovic as he comes into the middle of the ice, and this puck bounces past. P.O. Joseph way out into the slot. And Zock is just going to the front of the net, and he makes a terrific finish. He beats Nadelkovic over the glove. A, a loose rebound, one he won't like. At 8-22. Now what a chore against a really good Bruins team with a goaltender playing really well. There's O'Connor with some room. Out in front! is Brian Russ because of the way that he plays the game simple straight ahead the way that Sidney Crosby likes it to be played if you're playing on this line you have to play fast and direct Drew O'Connor has grown into this this is a terrific play from O'Connor he uses size and strength to go down the boards a terrific skater and Brian Russ and that line has carried the Penguins. Russ, seven goals in 11 games. And, of course, Crosby's just been incredible since the middle of the march. Pasternak has Heinen out in front of the net. Goes to Shattenkirk. He scores! Kevin Shattenkirk with the wrister in the top left corner. And Boston back to a two-goal lead. 950 is on the board. Pasternak hit two goal posts, and he makes a terrific play. Bing and in. Right through the seam. The Shattenkirk shot beats Nadelkovic over the shoulder, and the Bruins quickly back to that two-goal lead on Kevin Shattenkirk's goal. Carlson will be up high. Crosby on the faceoff. Controlled by Charlie Coyle of Boston. And Lindholm. For Coyle, who directed it in, just Jari on in relief of Alex Nedeljkovic. Didn't look like Carlson saw it coming, so the Bruins picked it up. Marshan scores! A shorthanded goal! The crowd can't believe it. It's as if Carlson didn't know the puck was nearby. The Bruins said, thank you, we'll take it. Pulls on the ear, and this misplay from Jari and Carlson. I think Carlson thinks there's another forward there. He saw the puck, I think, Sean, and didn't really react to it because he thinks he's got help coming on the boards. But Marshan goes to the forehand. That's the first shot Tristan Jari has faced. Wow. It's in the net. And a stunning fake deep to the forehand, and it's in the net. 
Balkan centers for Bunting, and they score! Hipped in at the top of the crease. A power play goal for Pittsburgh. And they're back within two. They had been 0 for 12. Feels like a must-have, and Michael Bunting, who's done a terrific job since coming over in the trade for Jake Gensel is standing right on the blue paint where he's been most of the night and you'll see this puck squeak between the post and the pants of Olmark as Bunting just pushes himself out into a little bit of a passing spot from a couple of feet Bunting's on the board again and it's now 4-2 he's been a nice addition there was a lot of angst here and understandably so in the Osternock established the zone. Ricochets back to the line. McAvoy wanted to one time it, but it wasn't in a good spot for him. Eller sends it ahead for O'Connor. Making a move through Marshan. Drew O'Connor scores! A short-handed goal for Pittsburgh! Oh, there is going to be a penalty on Boston as well if O'Connor had not scored. Turnover by McAvoy in the offensive zone. That puck has to go deep. When it doesn't, O'Connor recognizes that Brad Marchand's the only defender back. He pushes it by Marchand, uses his size and speed, and scores him. Here's Frederick. Loco. Centers one, and Geeky scores! Morgan Geeky, a huge goal for Boston. They're back up by two with 5.50 to go. Make a terrific play. Frederick will roll this around the boards, and as Shea goes to the puck, he doesn't deny the pass. Or well, actually, he just misses it. He doesn't quite get there in time, and... Geeky, who's had a tremendous year in his first year in Boston, not qualified in the summer from Seattle, he makes it five. Crosby couldn't get it in deep. Zaka got in the way under three minutes to go. Boston leading five to three. Dead empty. Extra attacker on. Carlson lost the puck. It's free for Danton Heinen. Empty net goal! Danton Heinen, the former Penguin, Delivers a huge blow to the playoff hopes of his former team. That'll do it for today. There's not anywhere to go along the blue line. Carlson's trying to dance there to keep the play alive. Heinen makes the defensive play to poke it over the top of the knock and dead center for Danton. You're still, you're still in it. And it's going to be hard to shake that tonight. That's This is a tough loss. Yes, indeed. Bunting scores! They're not dead yet tonight. Michael Bunting. His second goal of the game in 16 games, but Bunting's been excellent as a Penguin. Strong play by Raquel gets around the outside to Bunting in the slot. And Bunting will one-time this over the glove of... Oh. Yeah, he's capable. Yep. Just frustratingly uh, inconsistent for Bruins fans. Here's Poster Nahuck. Jari's back in. Killed the goalie shot. Stopped by Jari at the buzzer. And a fitting end of the night for Poster Nahuck.